Throughout history, various cultures have described reptilian entities in their creation myths, often attributing significant influence to these beings. These myths suggest that reptilian forces play a crucial role in the development of human consciousness and the shaping of our reality. These entities appear across different traditions, from the ancient Sumerian Anunnaki to the serpentine deities of Mesoamerican lore. These myths converge on the idea that reptilian beings have been instrumental in the cosmic evolution of humanity, particularly regarding our perception and state of consciousness. The Mythological and Cultural Roots of Reptilian Entities The recurring motifs of reptilian entities across various cultures highlight a universal archetype within human mythology. In ancient Sumerian mythology, the Anunnaki are depicted as godlike beings with reptilian features who played a crucial role in human creation and development. Similarly, in Mesoamerican cultures, the feathered serpent deity Quetzalcoatl is revered as a creator god who brought knowledge and civilization to humanity. These stories reflect shared human concerns about influence, control and transformation, symbolically represented through the figure of the serpent or reptile. The prevalence of these motifs suggests a common thread in human consciousness that seeks to understand the forces shaping our reality and existence. The Biblical Narrative and the Fall from Grace One of the most profound stories illustrating the influence of reptilian entities is the biblical tale of Adam and Eve. This narrative represents a significant metaphysical event. In the Garden of Eden, the serpent's temptation of Eve leads to humanity's fall from a higher state of consciousness, shifting from a high-frequency ethereal existence to one bound by dense matter and physical limitations. The serpent, often interpreted as a reptilian entity, introduces Adam and Eve to the knowledge of good and evil, marking the onset of polarity in human perception. Before this, Adam and Eve existed in a state of unity and harmony, untainted by duality. The serpent's intervention represents the introduction of duality into human consciousness, fundamentally shaping human experience. The symbolism of the serpent. The serpent often represents knowledge, duality, and the initiation into hidden truths. In many cultures, the serpent is seen as a guardian of sacred knowledge, capable of revealing profound truths about the universe and human existence. This symbolism can be expanded to discuss how human societies view the acquisition of knowledge and the consequences of enlightenment. The serpent's temptation of Eve can be interpreted as humanity's desire for knowledge and the inevitable consequences. This pursuit leads to a transformation in human consciousness introducing concepts of duality, morality, and self-awareness. The shift to dense matter. The concept of humanity's fall from a higher state of consciousness to dense matter is common in many spiritual traditions. This transition is often depicted as a loss of spiritual purity and a descent into the physical realm's constraints. The biblical story of Adam and Eve can be seen as an allegory for this broader spiritual phenomenon. This shift has profound implications for our understanding of reality. It suggests that our current state, characterized by physicality and duality, is a departure from a more harmonious and unified state of being. Philosophical and Metaphysical Dimensions The concept of reality as a simulation, managed by a reptilian or otherworldly force, ties closely to philosophical skepticism about the nature of reality. Philosophers like René Descartes questioned the reliability of human perception positing that a malevolent force could deceive us into believing in a false reality. This philosophical skepticism aligns with the idea that reptilian entities or other controlling forces could manipulate human perception, creating an illusory world. Polarity and Human Perception The introduction of the knowledge of good and evil signifies the onset of polarity in human perception. This dualistic way of seeing the world defines our current state of consciousness. It shapes how we understand ourselves, others, and the world. The concept of good and evil creates a framework for moral judgment, but also introduces conflict and division. The Reptilian Force and Human Perception Many spiritual traditions suggest that a reptilian force exerts control over human perception, creating a reality that resembles a simulation. This idea is echoed in ancient myths and modern theories alike. The reptilian force in this context acts as the architect of this simulation, shaping the parameters of our existence and influencing our perception. The shift to dense matter in spiritual traditions. 
The transition from a higher state of consciousness to dense matter is a theme across many spiritual traditions. In Hinduism, Maya represents the illusion of the material world. Similarly, in Buddhism, the physical world is seen as samsara, a cycle of birth, death and rebirth characterized by suffering and illusion. Let there be light and the creation of electromagnetic light. In the biblical account of creation, let there be light marks the beginning of the universe. This signifies the creation of electromagnetic light, a fundamental component of our reality. Electromagnetic light is essential for our physical reality, enabling us to see, communicate, and interact with our environment. The speed of light and the simulation's processing speed. Scientific theories suggest that the speed of light represents the limit of the simulation's processing speed. This idea aligns with the concept of our reality as a constructed experience, governed by specific rules and constraints. Gnostic texts and the concept of a fake reality. Ancient Gnostic texts describe a reality created by a controlling force, often referred to as the Demiurge. This reality is seen as a fake or illusory world, designed to trap human souls and keep them from achieving true enlightenment. The Gnostic worldview shares striking similarities with modern theories of virtual reality and simulation. Conclusion The idea that reptilian entities influence human consciousness and shape our reality is a recurring theme in various cultural myths and spiritual traditions. These narratives suggest that a reptilian force plays a crucial role in the development of human perception and the construction of our reality. As we explore these ideas, we are challenged to reconsider our understanding of reality and the forces that shape our consciousness. The notion of a simulated reality, controlled by a reptilian force, offers a compelling perspective on existence. Whether viewed through ancient mythology or modern science, these ideas invite us to question the boundaries of our perception and seek deeper truths about the universe and our place within it.